is pamela at ninja skin care and i want to show you how to use the makeover exfoliating mask we're gonna mix it we're gonna apply it and you're gonna see how it works and we're also gonna talk about why you use it so here to help me today is priya my lovely model so to start off with we're gonna go ahead and mix it and show you how to do that so priya will go ahead and we're gonna start so we're gonna take about a tablespoon or so of the enzyme powder and put it inside a bowl a small bowl that you can mix it with maybe a second a nah, smidgen more maybe yeah great perfect and then um, you're gonna take some hot water and get it hot 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 as hot as it comes out of the tap and then um, turn it to the, then once it's hot you can go ahead and turn the water down a little bit and put in a little bit of water maybe like a that's good that's fine if you end up overshooting, you could actually, before you stir it, pour a little bit off nope. of the water. Just pour a little bit of water off. Kind of hold the back like that, yeah. There you go. The reason why you mix water in with the mask is because the enzymes that are in the mask um, are activated by heat and moisture. Maybe add a little bit more powder. You kind of okay. overshot with the water, yeah, but that's okay. okay. It's no big deal. You just add a little bit more like that. There you go. Um, and so anyway so back to heat and moisture so the enzymes that are inside the mask the enzyme is in particular is, is bromelain and then in the papaya gel it's papain and both of those are protein digesting enzymes so what you do is when you put those on your skin when you get dry flaky skin from your topical medications it actually digests those dead skin cells um, it knows they're dead because there's no nucleus in the cell a little chemistry um, and so it takes off those dead skin cells and it makes your skin feel really super smooth again. All right, now you can add a little bit of papaya gel to the mix and just keep going. We're going to add a little bit more to make it so it's a little bit more liquidy so when we apply it to your skin it doesn't drip off, but at the same time it's thick enough to stay on your skin. I might add a little more papaya gel. Okay. Just go for it. Womp. Good job. And then. Um, after you mix it all up really well like that, kind of just go crazy mixy mixy. So maybe a little more papaya gel. You want to? I'm trying to get you guys to see the consistency that we want. Good job, right there. So ideally, you should get about three, maybe four complete facial treatments out of each um, container. And um, by the time you mix it all together, and if you can do this every 10 to 14 days it really helps make a boost to your treatment because taking those dead skin cells off makes that medication stronger all right now i get the fun part of, of putting this on priya's face what's the best way to store this between treatments well you want to use every you want, you want to use all of this and then just being stored just in your regular container of course priya's face has been washed with her facial facial cleanser and um here we go all right now go crazy we're going to put it up into the hairline I know that sounds a little crazy, but you do get dead skin cells up inside your hairline. So you want to go ahead and just cover that area there. Um, and then sometimes you get dead skin cells in your eyebrows. Don't be afraid. Put this on like crazy because it will take off all those dead skin cells. If you're going to use your handy dandy brush, which I really consider crucial to doing this, um, you want to always brush downward because you have little facial hairs that grow down and if you go opposite as the mask sits on your skin sorry about that um it's going to feel weird <laughs> as it kind of dries so you want to kind of go down on her face on your face of course you want to avoid your eyes if it gets in your eyes it just stings like crazy just wash out your eyes it's not going to make any blindness or anything but again you get these dry skin cells right up inside your hairline um, this is how you apply it. And then, what was that perfect amount of mask? We're using it all up. Across the top of your schnozzle. Your nose for short. And kind of go like this, Priya. Open your eyes. There you go. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, yeah. And this, sorry, it doesn't smell so great, but it works wonderful. And again, you know, really concentrate on the areas where you're dry and flaky. A lot of times people get more flaky down here in the lower half of your face. Mm -hmm. And then up and through here. Don't be afraid, like I said, to put it in your hair, in your eyebrows, if you get that dead skin cell stuff going on. Okay, great. Now, <clears throat> it needs heat and moisture.
Priya's making the heat. We're going to add moisture by a little water spritzer. So here you go, Priya. Try to do this like every minute or so to keep the mask moist. Otherwise, it's just going to draw like a piece of crust on your face. That's not going to work. So just spritz away. There you go. And just hang out. And if you want, you can do this right now and then before you get into the shower and then go in the shower and just rinse it off. Um, but it should sit on your skin for about 15 to 20 minutes. All right. Thanks a lot.